Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics. You can visit us on the web at www.genesisexotics.com. Today I'm just going to uh, briefly touch base about our bio bioactive soils, what they do, and what makes them so unique uh, compared to other types of soils that you can find at your local pet stores. Um, again, my name is Josh. Uh, I have been uh, in this industry since I was about 13 years old. Started keeping green tree frogs and bearded dragons and leopard geckos when I was 13. I'm now 28 years old. I've been working extensively uh, with keeping many different types of amphibians from all over the planet, as well as breeding many different types of rare tree frogs and dart frogs, while also breeding uh, pygmy chameleons, veiled chameleons. Uh, I've also worked with crocodile skinks, fire skinks, leopard geckos, bearded dragons, and the list goes on and on. Um, with that being said, uh, I uh, am a firm believer in science, and I'm also a firm believer in studies. The biggest thing you want to remember about studies is that they're all subjective. So just because one study can speculate one thing does not mean that that is actual fact. When there's actual numerous studies that are pointing to the same fact, that is when you can really rely on it to be credible. With that being said, uh, I am very blessed to have access to something called the Veterinary Information Network, um, which is, uh, which is a, a host that many veterinarians have access to, uh, to look at studies as well as also read medical journal journals that involve many types of uh, reptiles and amphibians, so that way I can come up with proper uh, husbandry, treatment, and know exactly uh, the biology behind of how the things work that I, that I care about so much. Terra firma premium bioactive vivarium substrate. Now, what the terra firma is designed for, it is designed for burrowing animals, such as snakes, larger lizards, um, guanids, box turtles. Basically, almost anything that lives in a humidity range between 30% and 55%. The firma is designed to hold humidity at the bottom layer, but dry out on the top. So, as it's creating the necessary air pockets for your proper uh, plant and root development, it also has the pockets for beneficial microfauna uh, to, to develop the dirty springtails and ice pots, as I mentioned before. But the best thing about the firma is that if you have a deep layer, you can take your fist, put your fist right through the bottom, and it, it will retain the tunnel. This is this is great for for small for your smaller uh, monitors as well that like to have tunneling systems. I had an Aki's monitor on this for many many years, uh, and he had little underground tunnels all all, all throughout his uh, all throughout his 90 gallon, and he would always peek his head out like a little prairie dog and jump at the pinky mice and catch them in midair out of his holes. Uh, I've noticed with the firma, um, if you give them a deep enough layer, it brings out a lot of the neat little instincts uh, in your animals, which is another reason why I like it. So terra firma, plain and simple. Retains humidity at the bottom, but doesn't get too wet on the top. Has the beneficial air pockets for springtails and isopods and for proper root development. Lasts an extremely long time in your vivarium and it retains a burrow. So not only for these big animals and these beautiful snakes that typically don't have the capabilities of having a nice planted living vivarium, this gives you the necessary components to do so. So recently we released uh, some videos on YouTube uh, that uh, the first one was a self-cleaning, self-maintaining ball python uh, bioactive setup featuring the terra firma substrate and the other one is a corn snake self-cleaning, self-maintaining bioactive setup featuring the terra firma. Since then, we've had a lot of people make the jump to bioactive and they haven't looked back since. But at the same time, we're having a lot of people on the fence uh, because they have a lot of questions that goes against conventional keeping of some of the animals that we're saying the substrate works for. And what I'm going to do is today, I'm going to cover some of those questions and I'm going to answer them with the, with the terra firma in mind. Uh, one of the biggest questions that I get is, with how this substrate works, will my snake be susceptible to scale rot? And my answer to that is no. So the terra firma is designed to stay dry at the top, but retain humidity at the bottom. So the layer that your snake is laying on is laying on a dry surface, but underneath the snake 
that is about two inches underneath the initial layer of the terra firma is where all the humidity is. So not only does that keep your snake's belly nice and dry, it also allows to have the special humidity pockets for the beneficial springs and isos as well as your plants. Another question we commonly get is mites, the dreaded mites. If you get wild caught animals, a lot of times they're going to come in with mites. There are hundreds upon thousands of different species of mites that can come in and contaminate your collection very quickly. The terra firma does not stop the mites from spreading, but it will not bring the mites in. What it comes down to is you following proper quarantine procedure as a keeper by keeping your freshly imported or, if you're unsure of the source, animal in quarantine until you can treat your snake with preventamite uh, or, or your gecko with, uh, with uh, a similar treatment to make sure we're mite free before introducing them into the terra firma substrate. Now again, the firma will not expedite the growth of mites, but it will not hinder them either. They will populate the exact same speed whether they were on desert blend, pine shavings, newspaper, or terra firma. Another question that we get, which is a deep reference to ball pythons, is anorexia. There are some snakes that live that have a very sedentary lifestyle. Ball pythons, for example, spend 80% of their lives in their dens. And if they are surrounded in a big open area, at times they can feel vulnerable. They feel vulnerable, they get stressed. They get stressed, they don't eat. They don't eat after a long period of time, which can sometimes be years, they can end up you know, getting pretty sick. With that being said, if your tank is designed correctly, the terra firma will not cause anorexia to your animals. With ball pythons in mind, one of the biggest things to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that it's planted heavy. You don't want to have a lot of open, open space. You don't want to have a lot, of, a lot of areas that if he comes out of his den, he's going to be wide out in the open. Now that is where it comes into you designing your tank correctly while having enough plants and enough uh, vivarium woods and hides in there to make your little one feel at home. So the bottom line is this. You follow practice, you, know, you follow and practice clean husbandry and make sure that your that your setup is done correctly. None of these problems will be your problem. Again, my name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics LLC. We are a, a full veterinary, uh, a, a full supply company, a bioactive line. And again, if you have any other questions, you can feel free to contact us uh, on our website. Uh, thank you very much.